Okay, hello and welcome. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing pretty good. I think we're going to do some more Pharaoh's Tomb tonight first off. Uh, see if we can finish episode 4 of that. Uh, yeah. And uh, that probably will only take like an hour, so I'll have to think of something else to do afterwards. I have an idea. Uh, but we'll see. There are some things which I have to do tomorrow, so... I don't know whether things will go on for as long as they did last, as they usually do. But, uh, oh well. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Uh, story so far. You wake from another sleepless night and ponder your options. You decide to go a little further into the pyramid after breakfast. As you prepare to leave, you slip on some dust and drop your pack. Rubbing your head and grunting, you reach for your dropped pack. Before you lies a small niche in the wall. You stick your hand inside and hear a small click. A few seconds later, a small panel slides open, revealing a narrow passage into darkness. You pull out your map and realise this is the passage you have been looking for. You are getting near to the end of your quest. Ooh. Okay. Onwards. The Chamber of Death. Well, what a great uh, introduction. Where are we? Oh, I'm right here. I am invisible. Okay, so there's a zombie down there. There is a time stop there. Oh, right. Okay, I'm going to need that time stop up the top because there is a dart trap. I'm going to have to be very quick because I need to get back and forth from there. While the time stops in play. Oh, what's this do? Okay, that adds some pillars there. I wonder whether... Ah! Okay then. That makes it quite a bit easier. Uh, right, so... To get past... Uh, can I jump up there? I can. Good, okay. Oh. Nope. That's not good. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Run! <laughs> uh... Okay. Get the mask. And yeah. There we go. The Sanctuary of Aman Amana. Amana. I thought it was gonna say Aman Ra, but uh apparently not. Okay. Let's go over here. Oh. Ah that revealed that. Okay. That added a whole bunch of blocks. Ugh. Oh, jeez. Okay, good. <laughs> I was going <laughs> Having to be, like, right in between them. That would have been, uh... I'm fortunate if I was mispositioned. Okay, let's go get this. Does this let me get out? No. Okay. So... I can't actually get out of there. Hmm. Okay, I guess all that's there just for show. Anything there? Nope. Okay. 
Now I have to oh, position myself so that I'm not hit by either of these again. There we go. That was cutting it very close. Have to go here. And then we have to jump. There we go. Uh, wait for this bat bug thing to go back. there, up there, and we'll deal with you. Hello! Welcome, welcome, Wex. Hope things are going well. Okay, let's save. What was this level called? The Royal Hall. Okay. Right, so there's a, there's a key down there. There's the exit there as well. Hmm. Now goes the war, you mean looting of graves. Uh, pretty well so far. We haven't died yet. Um. Have to get on our way to uh, getting the last of the treasures which we've been uh, hunting for. We probably will die a few times though. Actually, no, we did kind of technically die because I got stuck. I just reloaded. We didn't actually die. <laughs> have to have waited for ourselves for us to starve or something. Not well, dying is good. I would tend to agree. Uh, there's a scroll over there. And there's a spear. Okay. I'll just jump over you. And... Up. Oh. Okay. There we go. Okay, uh... Right. That revealed another scroll up there. Okay, so you actually have to drop down that way. I think if you went this way, it wouldn't be enough to uh, get across the entire pit of spikes down there. I'll sod you. Well, there's a death. That's a tricky jump. Okay. I'm going to have to... Hmm. Put my foot over the gap more. So I hit my head on that uh, orange block there. Oh no, it's that, it, it's this square here, which causes the blocks to, dis to disappear, so it doesn't matter whether you go one way or the other. There we go. Oh, yep, okay. Go up. No, we don't go up there. Have to go back over these. I'll sod you. I was jumping to get the key, but it, uh, cancelled my jump. Uh. Jump up there. Get this. Nothing there. I thought I had uh, moved over the edge enough. Actually. There we go. Let's reload so I've got those lives back.
Okay. Up oh, and up. Oh. Okay. Whoop, oh, hang on. There we go. Just grab it like that. Then jump up. Up. There we go. Nothing there. Get that. And go back. He says, it should be really easy. Ugh. I would really prefer not to shoot these, since it gives me the space to, uh, dodge them. Hmm. I guess all the, uh, hidden points are in that line of bricks down there, which I'm... I was just standing on. Okay, good. I must have just missed it. of happy <clears throat> okay there's a dark trap there uh, there's a time freeze there what would I need the time freeze for getting the red key there's a push block there too Maybe that 16 tons is moving too quickly. Yeah, there we go. I thought I could get that by jumping away from it. Hmm. I wonder whether it's possible to get past that without getting the uh, F. Again, I pull it off the first time. There we go. Have to just clip it. Hmm. Hit boxes. I think I'm going to have to get the F there to get past that. Ugh. 
Oh, interesting that this stone block actually continues moving. Uh, I'll just shoot you. That's easier. Oh look, those spikes are actually floating on uh, thin air. Wanna bet that if I jump into them from below it still kills me? I mean of course it would. Oh. They're poisoned on all sides. That's kind of neat, that the enemies uh, respect when you push a uh, movable block. They, uh, it changes their uh, path. I wonder what happens if I sand sandwich them right up against the wall. Yes, they apparently do uh, still kill you if you hit the bottom of them. Ah, you're too close for me to throw a spear. Okay then. Yeah, remember that's a thing in this game. Uh, you have to stand a square apart from an enemy to be able to hit them with a spear. It's actually something mentioned in the uh, instructions for the game. Unlike in Arctic Adventure, where you have to, uh, wh wh where you can pretty much shoot enemies point blank. Interesting the block actually moved away, even though I wasn't pressing to the right. Damn it. Distance? I don't know. Some distance. Okay, so that's as far as I can push the block. With a monster being there. There we go, the hieroglyph room. Has actually only got two, ex three examples of hieroglyphs in it. Four if you include the pushing block. We've seen ones with far more. That's a lot of dart traps in here though. Uh, yeah, hmm.
wonder how I'm supposed to... Well, I'm going to need to kill both of those enemies. There's not enough room to jump over um, either of them. Unless I can go around. It's this again. Damn it. Very tight jumping. Let me turn the sound off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can see the lag from the uh, bullet trap. Uh, okay, good. There we go. And we'll just leave. Okay. The sound back on. What was this place called? The Altar of Heliopolis. Okay. When was this tip? When was this uh, pyramid built? That's the name of a settlement uh, which the Greek Greeks would have given it. <laughs> Not ancient Egyptian. My immersion is broken. What is this anachronistic naming? Um. Okay. Okay, good, good. Okay, cool. Oh. turning around okay where are we now the chamber of armageddon <laughs> have we gone into like catacombs 3d again or something damn it i guess by volume four uh <laughs> With like, uh, what, 65 levels gone, you would probably start running out of names.
Rest of red key door. There is a red key, but there's no red key door. Hmm. I guess I'll pick it at, pick it up anyway. Oh, I can't go back that way. Okay. Oh, no. Oh. I could keep that coin there to stop the uh, spike trap from going in front of the doorway. I'll get it. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't know why this red key is here. Oh well, we got it anyway. Maybe it gave me some extra points. The Shrine of Babylon. Okay. Yeah, it didn't carry over to the next level. I didn't think it would. Hmm. Maybe the level was changed at some point and they forgot to remove it. Because we have had levels where you had to get two keys to uh, get through the door before. You would have both uh, key doors in front of the exit. there is actually kind of a problem. If he's above you uh, when the bullet gets to you, you're going to hit him. Uh. Okay, good. Safe. What was this one called? The Room of Kadesh. Okay. Some more blocks. Again, there's a red key down there, but there's no red key door. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I did press jump there. Just. Okay, there we go. Hmm. 
Megiddo's Keep. I don't even know what that's from. At all. I can't make any guesses. Ugh. Okay. Uh... There we go. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, okay. That F is just if you want to get those masks up there then. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, I want to get this now then. There we go. What's this one? Temple of Nineveh. That's like something from the Bible, isn't it? Uh, there is one dart trap there, another one down there, to the left. Uh, sure. Just got to go all the way one way, then sort of back around the other way. I was, yeah. Kind of wondering how I deal with uh, that. I don't think we've seen any new uh, sprites in this one yet. There we go. Okay, let's go back over this way. Whoop. Whoop. Ah. I perhaps didn't think this through. So how would you... Uh, I think... I think I might know. So we get this, drop down. Hmm. Because I can't jump from the bottom up here. There we go. Okay. Have to bump your head against that block there so that you don't do a uh, two tile high jump. That way you uh, fall down fast enough that you can dodge the bullet. Ah. They're doing pretty good with uh, the limited tools that they have available to them in the game. Making some interesting puzzles. It's not really enough to last over as many games as we've played of this, but yeah. Or as many levels of this as we've played, but yeah. There we go. 
the tomb of Ramses the first. Okay. I kind of wish some of these levels had something a bit more recognizable as like, I don't know, some kind of light object trying to represent something like a series of blocks with a monster in it. And uh, by uh, going near it, the blocks open up and the uh, monsters released. It would make it feel like in an abstract way, you're opening a sarcophagus or something like that. Don't you? <laughs> the bullet hit the that hit the uh, spike trap. Fired a lot more, a lot sooner than I was anticipating. I don't want to shoot you eyeballs. Perhaps I should, should have. Whatever you are, maybe there, maybe it's a Gru. Though I think if you shoot the monsters, you actually get some points for it. So if you wanted to get as high of a score as possible, you would have to go back through the levels and find out which monsters you can shoot and um, which monsters uh, you would have extra spears to shoot. Because there are some monsters you have to shoot to be able to get past them. Um, but... Yeah, that gave me like 250 points, I think. Oh, I didn't even see that. Okay. Whoa. Okay, I didn't see that. What was this? The altar to Ozymandias. I don't think that was even a proper name either. That was a uh, poem written quite a few centuries after the fact. A few millennia after the fact, I believe. I forget who the author of it was.
Hey, a quick way out, thank you. Okay. Yeah, more of these like little, like jump areas. Makes me think that they were going to have more dart traps here rather than the monsters. I'm glad they didn't put dart traps everywhere where there is these uh, half bricks. That would be torturous. Did I go up here? Yeah, I must have. Already forgotten. Okay, what was this one? The Keep of Hattosilis. Hat Hattosilis. Okay. Uh, that is a lot of dart traps there. Also. I am just going to take a very brief, a quick break. So I'll pause the recording here and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, we're back. Let me just this up and we'll reload because I've used two spears in unintentionally. Let's see. Uh Okay. Uh so I've got to go down there. Get that key. And go back up. Then what? Hmm. I have to get that F. Does that mean I have to go past all those uh, dart traps over on the right, or on the left there? Well, I guess let's go see. Okay, that opens up. Oh, I can't actually jump through there. Ah, it's too narrow. Oh! Uh, thank you for not hit- killing me! Spike trap? Monster thing? This game works in mysterious ways, sometimes. Okay, so I've got to... Get the F, run over there, drop all the way down to the bottom. There we go. Okay. The treasure room. Ooh. Yeah, that looks like something. A room. <laughs> but what am I going to do with all these Fs? Ah. I did see those. Okay, so let's see. One to get over to the right, one to get back over to the left. I need to time it better than that. Not just these one, not just these traps on the uh, left, but the ones on the right as well. 
That's going to be annoying. <laughs> I can't look at them all. There we go. See when they're all in, uh, all high enough. I sort of have to stare at the entire screen and blur my eyes slightly and try and, uh... see the, um... movement out of the corner of my eye. Okay. I gotta wait for the, uh, timer to run out. Because I don't know whether the game would add on uh, frozen time if it's already going. And I don't particularly trust it to find out. There we go. The Jackal Room. Haven't we already had a Jackal Room or something? Feels like the Altar of the Jackal or Temple of the Jackal. Uh, uh, fire thing down there. Oh. Okay, that opened up there. What about this? Opened up that. Okay. Damn it. Oh. Oh. No coin. No coin left behind. Damn it. Run. Okay, what's this one? The Chamber of Destiny. Okay, so I should go up this way. And then wait for these to start going over to the left. It turned around. <laughs> We've seen that before. Enemies will actually turn around if you land close enough to them. But it doesn't seem to always happen. Which leads me to wonder, uh, as I've, I've thought before, whether it's because they think they're hitting a uh, solid wall and they're turning around, rather than actually following you. It's a case of me clipping into their bounding box and they're going, oh, I've hit a wall. Oh, better turn around. No problem that time, but I think I, I cleared their uh, hitbox a bit better. The Great Temple. Okay.
Yeah, mask does block the bullet. I can't get that. There's no spikes up there. Hmm. Nothing doing there. How about this way? Oh, damn it. I wasn't pressing left on the beginning of my jump. I thought I could uh, get over it. I, I... Not really sure. The, the timing made me think I didn't have to press forward, but... Uh... Yeah, can't go up there. Hang on, actually. If I... Mm, no. I was just checking whether if I went into those squares, would the, uh... Would a block... move or change, but, uh... Apparently not. Ah, whatever. Hang on. Anything else over here? Okay, there we go. Hey, and I got the spear back. The Pharaoh's anteroom. Ooh, hey! There's uh, three of the treasures which we've already collected. Are we already nearly done with this? Hmm. Uh, drop down here. Hmm. Let's see. Hang on. Hang on. Aha. Yeah. Okay. Bit of sneaky level design. Uh, what? Oh, hey! There's a uh, thingy up there. Can I not do anything at that previous level? Is this all just like one big? Sort of, y you know, you're not going to be able to get any of this. Because I can get that. But then getting that scroll... It doesn't open up anywhere, it just blocks them off. But then if I can't get them in the first place, what's the point of blocking them off? Falling down to the left there didn't, uh... Hang on. Let me try something else. Because I was moving left and right. Maybe it's only the rightmost block down here which, uh, moves you to the next level. No? Okay. Just want to try a few more things. Till I'm satisfied there's, like, no way to get any of this. So that does that. But... Yeah, and I can't move to the left there. But then it's like, if I can't get them in the first place, what's the point? Aside from a big ha-ha. Well... <laughs>
I think it's, I, I guess it's just designed to make it look like there's more to it than there is. It's not like I have any other options on what I can do. And getting the scroll is just, I don't know, kind of optional. Okay, fine, whatever. Can't fall into any of those blocks there. Nope. Okay, fine. We'll just save. Uh, the Pharaoh's tomb. Let's see. We need both keys. Get those scrolls. Uh, ooh, there's a bunch of dart traps there. Okay. Right, that does that. That doesn't help me, however. I am stuck down here now. Okay. Let's go... This way. I didn't mean to fall down there. Let's go... No! Come on, spacebar. Work with me here. Oh. No! Weird skull thing got me. I know what I don't know what it is. It's got very big eyebrows though. Ah. Oh. Well, okay. It makes a block appear which allows me to uh, get the key. So, you don't have to get it from that jump, luckily. Okay, so. Hmm. Uh. But that doesn't help me in that other area. It's not like I can, uh. get back up there anyway. Let's see. If I drop down on the other side of this, uh, maybe it will remove blocks? No. What if I just get the F straight up? That didn't do anything. I was thinking maybe the squares around it would make some blocks disappear. Oh, hang on. Yeah, okay. There's a path to go forward. I was because I was thinking of getting the red key next, but you can't, so you have to go down where the dart traps are, and there is a scroll down there, so that would probably help me get the uh, red key, because it will most likely make blocks appear for in uh, this area over here. Okay, and yep. Because if I drop down here now... I can't move over to the right fast enough.
Our goal so close at hand. Nearly there. Uh, right, so I need to get that. Go back over this way. Jump, please. Drop down there. There we go. Good. Now, I can... Hmm. Drop down here. Get this. the spikes because they hadn't descended far enough. Should I try and get that singular coin over there? Forget it. There we go. Yay! You finally found it. Breath breathing easy for the first time in weeks, you sit down and relax against the wall. I thought our trip was only taking like uh four days. Oh well, maybe it's uh all the anticipation and preparation beforehand. Reaching into your pack, you pull out a knife and cut off a small piece of the shroud the pharaoh was wrapped in. You will need it for proof of your findings. You mark the tomb's location on your map and prepare to leave the pyramid. It's funny, but this place has become like a home to you on your journey. It saddens you to leave it, but you must return and tell the world of your findings. Later, it is midnight. You walk quietly through the office and up to the man whose back is to you. Working late tonight, Professor? Professor spins around in his chair, startled. So, you've returned, he says quietly. Yes, you say, tossing him the shroud. Ah, a triumphant return at that. Well done, Nevada. I congratulate you. You stand there, stunned by this unexpected reaction. I've been thinking that maybe I could use an associate on my future adventures. Maybe you. What do you think? End of the road. Why not, you should reply, you shrug shrugging your shol shoulders. As long as I get half the credit, you add. Certainly, Nevada. You've proven... You've proved you deserve it, says the professor. Thanks, Professor Jones, you say, as you walk out the dimly lit office and into the night air. The end. I hope you enjoyed the series. Coming in 1991, Nevada Smith in Journey to the Centre of the Earth. And there we go. Hey, I did enjoy that. It's a fun, simple little platformer. And you can see us, actually. Uh, and it's apparently... Uh, the sequel was originally going to be called Journey to the Centre of the Earth. And they changed the name to Arctic Adventure. Hmm. I wonder what prompted that. But anyway. 
Press any key. There we go. New high score. And there we go. That's all four episodes of Pharaoh's Tomb. Ah, uh, yeah. What do I think of it compared to Arctic Adventure? Hmm. The engine's a bit rougher. Uh, jumping is a bit more wonky than in Arctic Adventure. Uh, just little things like it feels like your movement gets cancelled out by things a lot more often. Uh, picking up objects in this, jumping into coins, uh, there is a chance that your upwards momentum will just stop and you'll drop back down, which is a pain. Um, that's not a thing in Arctic Adventure, from what I remember. Um, hmm, what else? Maybe the fact that dart traps were pausing the engine? I can't remember whether that was a thing in Arctic Adventure. Uh, whatever they shot, that is. Um. It's interesting that this one actually had what I felt it had, uh, I felt it had more variety in it. Uh, there was a lot more monster, monsters, uh, even though they're all, for all intents and purposes, they're all exactly the same. I think the only difference between them was, uh, well, those bats there move along the ceilings and, uh, speed. But other than that, you know, aside from appearance, they all act exactly the same. But uh, there was more of them. In Arctic Adventures, there was only two enemies. There's the Yeti and the uh, Penguins. Uh, what else? Kind of felt like there was a bit more mechanics as well. I mean, you had the scrolls, which caused blocks to appear. And then there was just spaces where block, which would cause blocks to disappear. Arctic Adventure had the same mechanic, but they were tied to buttons. Uh, you would press... Now, I think this is how it worked. You pressed a white button, and it caused blocks to appear. And you pressed a red button, and it caused blocks to disappear. Um, it was more... It was easier to sort of see when that would be happening, when blocks would be disappearing, because they were tied to a button rather than just a square which you had to move into. Um... But, what else? Arctic Adventure had the ice which was slippery. Um, when you stood on it, it pushed you in a certain direction. Whereas in Pharaoh's Tomb, uh, some of the levels had uh, wind in them, and they would push you to, a, to either the left or right side constantly. Which I have to wonder whether that's the same mechanic in the game code uh, for the wind as is used for the ice. Um, but it's just like applied to the squares above the uh, ice blocks or something. Or it applies the movement on your character when you're standing on those squares. Or something. Instead of just being an effect applied to the entire level. Um, anything else? Oh yes! Um, the coins giving you uh, lives whenever you get a hundred of them. And the masks giving you 15,000 points when you collect uh, five of them. That's not something in Arctic Adventure. Uh, Arctic Adventure actually does away with lives completely, and because I was saving at the beginning of every level and reloading if I died, lives had no purpose. Um, instead, Arctic Adventure, you have... What do you have? Coins and gems, I think. Um, and they just give you varying amounts of points. Um... I don't know whether if you collected five of the gems, whether it uh, gave you a whole bunch more points or whether they just gave you a flat amount of points per uh, gem. But yeah, I kind of, there, there was a little extra mechanic in this of uh, collecting five masks and you get like 15,000 points, I think, which encouraged you to uh, go and collect them a bit more. Uh... The big difference between this and Arctic Adventure, though, is Arctic Adventure has the overworld map. Uh, this one was just 
20 levels one after the other. Whereas Arctic Adventure, uh, you collected keys during levels. Whereas in this, you collected keys in the levels and used the keys in the levels. Uh, Arctic Adventure, you collected the keys to use in the overworld map. And you would remove doors on the overworld map to access new levels. It also meant that you had the uh, boat, which you would collect in one of the levels, to allow you to go over water. Whereas in this, well, there was no boat. Um, I don't even think there was any water at any time in, the le in any of the levels. It was just spikes. So a bit more of an, I, I guess, exploration feeling because of the overworld map, which was kind of neat. Uh, did make it a bit ne difficult to navigate. I had to wander around quite a few times to uh, find where the levels were. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. I do feel like collecting the maps in Arctic Adventure. This is extremely minor. Uh, but collecting the maps didn't feel as neat. I guess collecting treasure in a tomb is more, you know, ooh, we're getting rich rather than finding pieces to a map. And I don't think you even end up finding out what the treasure is in Arctic Adventure. It's just like you collect the four pieces of the map, the area which it's pointing to is nearby, so you exit and uh, it doesn't really elaborate on it. Which is a bit of a, eh, <laughs> feeling. There's not really any payoff for Arctic Adventure, whereas in this, I guess you go... You don't really get the treasure in the end of this either, but you get uh, evidence. And I suppose you're going to come back with an archaeology team later on? Because you're not really a <laughs> tomb raider selling it for profit. You're more an archaeologist trying to find this stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, there we go. That's Pharaoh's Tomb, Volume 4, done. And that's a whole lot of it done. Thank you very much for joining, and I hope you join me again next time.